All right, whoa, hey. Man, I think I might have overran the, the camera. I was in such a hurry to teach you about area and scale factor. Should be a great video. Uh, but before we begin, what's your bright spot? Uh, my bright spot is my son. Cue the cute picture. All right, let's begin. Uh, so I made this poster. This poster pretty much defines everything that we're going to need to do. So here's what kind of students generally already know by the time they, they get to me. They know that if you scale an object and you have like the original dimension, if you multiply it by the scale factor, you know your new dimension. If you already knew that, say holla. I heard you. I heard you. Um, but what this video is more interested in is it turns out that if you know the perimeter of the object and the scale factor, the new perimeter is actually just the old perimeter multiplied by the scale factor. And if you know the area of the, of the original object, the new area is just the original area times the square of the scale factor. Yes, I know, it's a quadratic relationship. Let the angels sing. I'm sorry, this is math too. I spent about uh, months talking about quadratics, so it's nice to see this geometry relationship that's actually squared. That's the old area times the square of the scale factor equals the new area. So let's get it. Let's just do some examples. I'm gonna come back to this beautiful poster because I know I can hear you. I can hear you. You saying, damn, Mr. Miller, that is a beautiful poster. Well, I agree. I, I appreciate your compliment. I really do. Let's do this thing. All right. So let's just look at an example here. Why don't we just assume that we've got the following rectangle? All right, let's go. I want to draw it to scale. So we have this rectangle that is 5 by 10. Let's calculate the area of it. So the area is going to be base times height, right? So our area is gonna be 50 units squared, whatever the, the units happen to be. And the perimeter, let's do perimeter, is gonna be, uh, right, right, five plus five, that's 10, it's gonna be 30 units. Okay, so here's the question. If I was to use a scale factor of three, what would the new perimeter and area be? That's the question, scale factor of three. Well, let me draw it. All right, so part of the reason why I'm taking such time to make sure I'm kind of drawing them to scale is that this is a, about shapes, this is about geometry. And I'm telling you, scale factor of three, I want you to look at this thing and say, no way is that three times the size of that one. Uh-uh, way more than three. It's gonna turn out to be nine times the size, but let's talk about this. So what we could do, what you could do is you could recalculate the area by scaling the dimensions. So we could say, oh, well, let's see, I'm gonna go from here and I'm gonna multiply it by three because, and get that this would be a dimension of 30 because I know already people, <laughs> right? That bottom part, I can scale, my new dimension is gonna be my old dimension times scale factor. You could do that. You could. You could go ahead and scale this one while you're at it. Times three here and say 15. And be like, that's my new rectangle. Grab your calculator and find the area of this damn thing. Let's see. We got 15 times 30, 450. Gorgeous. 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 And then you could say, oh, okay, 30 plus 30 plus 15 plus 15 is 90. All right, there you go. That's one way to do it. But it's not how I want you to do it here. You see, what I'd rather you do is go back to this poster. The poster says, we, we knew the original perimeter. We knew what it was, so we should just multiply it by R to get our new perimeter. We didn't have to redraw anything. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, whoa, original perimeter. 
Hey, no tripping, Mr. Miller, no tripping. Uh, original, I know what I should do. You know what keep me from tripping? Take my shoes off. All right, here we go. So, original perimeter was 30. So our new perimeter would be our scale factor times our old perimeter, which was here at 30. So our new perimeter is 90. You see that? No draw, I don't gotta redraw anything. Area, okay, let's do it, let's just do it. Area moves with the square of the scale factor. You see that, the square of the scale factor. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say, okay, scale factor is three. I gotta square it and multiply that by the original area, which was 50. 50 times nine is 450. Ah. Well, I think we found a better way. I think we found a better way. Because uh, now I could ask any scale factor we want. Look, I could say, hey, I want to take this one and I want to scale it. I don't know. Give me a number. Think of a number between one and 10. I got you eight. Scale it eight times eight. What would the new area be? Well, it would be the old area, so it would be 450 times the scale factor squared. That's the new area. I don't have to recalculate, don't have to recalculate dimensions or anything, so let's just do it. Let's see, eight squared. Oh, obviously it's 64 uh, times 450. It would be 28,800. Beautiful. Don't need to redraw it. And of course it's square units, units square. All right, you got it, you feel it, you feel that? Okay, let's, uh, cause you know, one thing I will just say, I'm gonna kind of mark this. Actually, I'm gonna do it for real, one second. All right, isn't geometry so beautiful? Ain't it beautiful? Look, you see the scale factor of three? Well, look, it's three times as wide. It's also three times as tall, so it's nine times as big. The scale factor is three, but the difference in the areas, the areas would be nine. All right, let's do another problem. All right, so we have this beautiful vase. Here's gonna be the question. The question is going to be, first of all, what's the area and perimeter of that base? And then if we were to use a scale factor of two, what would the new perimeter be? All right. So in order to calculate the area and perimeter, one, that's not the purpose of this video. I got other videos for how to do that. So I'm going to do it super fast, but this is a composite area. So we're going to have to break it down into shapes that we kind of know the equation for, like rectangles and triangles, uh, and then calculate the area. So let me do that really quickly, and we'll finish this problem out. Okay, <laughs> I gotta take my, my, uh, my coat off uh, after doing all that work. So. One of the things to keep in mind is like we fi I finally calculated it all. We got the area of this beautiful vase is 46 units squared. The perimeter is 30.4. Okay, and I had to use the Pythagorean theorem a couple times and uh, I enjoyed it, but it took a little bit. You know, it took a little bit. So here's the next question. I'm gonna write it up here. All right, I want you to beat me to it. I want you to beat me to it. So, all right, I want you to find the new area and perimeter if we use a scale factor of two and on this base, we apply a scale factor two to that base, what's the new area and perimeter gonna be? I believe in you! Hit that pause button. Unpause. Let's get it. <laughs> Let's get this thing. Um, if I had, I'm gonna be real honest with you, if I had a nickel for every student who would tell me and maybe you did it, don't worry, you ain't alone, you're a beautiful person, you ain't alone, uh, that the area is twice that, right? They go 46 times two, was it the ninth, is that 92? 92? 
uh, right? Because they see scale factor two. But we know, we know you've been through, you've been through the journey of this poster. That's not how area moves. Area moves with the square of the scale factor. So let's get it. Where's a good color to use? Let's do orange. So the new area, so new area, I'll put over here, new area would equal, well, I'm gonna run out of space. I know I only have to there, but, but I think I got this. It's gonna equal the old area times the square of the scale factor. So it's gonna be two squared times the old area, which I have here at 46. And let's see here. So we have four times 46 is 184. That would be the new area, 184 units squared. And the reason that's so helpful is because what you could have done, you could have redrawn, redrawn the vase, drew it bigger, make this distance eight instead of four, make it go down 10 instead of five, and redid all of these calculations. And you would have got that answer, but it would have took so much longer. You see, because it, you, don't, you know more than just scaling dimensions. You don't have to scale the dimensions and recalculate. You can just scale the area. That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do. And so the new area is just two squared. So what's that new perimeter going to be? Well, the old perimeter, so let's do it over here. New perimeter. Let's see, let's see, new perimeter. We've got whatever the old perimeter was. And I think I used red, did I use red? Yeah, I used red, so I'm gonna use red here. Not my best day for colors here. I don't think I was too consistent. I definitely stuck with light blue for, uh, or the scale factor of everything else. I think I kind of went, went crazy. Uh, so what is that? It's going to be a 60.8, right? 60.8. All right. All right, you feel that? So that's what this video is about. That's what this video is about. That says, look, you, can, you don't have to scale dimensions and recalculate. You can scale area and perimeter straight up. And sometimes you have to because your teacher does something like this to you. Last problem. All right, last problem. Uh, and, and I don't know if I need to say it, but <laughs> not drawn to scale. Lord knows, not drawn to scale. But well, here's, what, here's what your teacher can do. They say, look, these two are geometrically similar. Maybe you put the little similarity symbol there. What's the new area and the new perimeter? See, now you're stuck because if all you know how to do is scale dimensions, you, can't, you don't have enough information to calculate the area and perimeter. So you have, to, you have to base this on scale. So you would have to say, first of all, what's the scale factor? Well, what do you multiply four by to get to eight? That's two, right? That's a times two situation. So we have a scale factor of times two. Therefore, our new area is just going to be 2 squared times our old area. So I'm going to put the square black low. 2 squared times our old area. And our new perimeter is just going to be 2 times our old perimeter. All right, so there you go. This one I can do, right? That's 100 units. And four was at 360 units squared. All right. Okay. I said it was a journey. I think, I think that's a good, good description. That's what math is. This is one step. Uh, anyways, I hope I found you in a good mood. All right. I believe in you. Uh, and I hope, uh, yeah, yeah. I just hope you're having a beautiful day. Take care. It's a little dance step for you. By now. <laughs> hey, not my fault. How am I supposed to end these? I don't know. <laughs> what am I, a genius? I'm not a genius. <laughs>